This video will focus on the second part of topic 2. The subtopics cover are planning for activities, scheduling the planned activities using number of technique, and finally, how to control the started project in terms of team members management. Now, let's focus on how to plan the activities for a project. In our real life, there are many inspirational or motivation quotes that related to the successful and achievement as a person. For example, if you fail to plan, you are actually planned to fail. Another example, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Nonetheless, it is the same concept that we should apply in project management for a system development. First and foremost, you must understand that the selected project will go through all the phases in the System Development Life Cycles or SDLC. All SDLC phases, for example, analysis, should be broken down into specific tasks, activities, steps or further smaller units. This is what we call as Work Breakdown Structure Technique. WBS can be product oriented or process oriented. In this slide, the shown figure provides an example of product-oriented WBS for a residential project planning. You can observe that the main rectangle is broken down further to numbers of rectangles. Main rectangle is the project, further broken down to the related smaller units of phases in residential or house development. For example, plans, substructure, enclosure, and utilities. The rectangles or the elements are typically in the form of a noun because using this product-oriented WBS, the elements identify tangible components that are typically a physical item that needs to be produced, obtained, or supplied to the client. In the context-wise for information system project development, the elements of the rectangles can be represented as system and broken down further to subsystems and lower level components in each subsystem can be decomposed to the specific modules for each of the identified subsystem. As you can see in the slide, the figure visualizes the example of process-oriented WBS for a piping project. The planning for this piping project is broken down to the phases such as design, project administration, install, inspect, and backfill. A process-oriented WBS defines what are the steps and the process need to be taken to deliver each of the project deliverables. The elements or the rectangles in a process-oriented WBS are typically in the form of a verb. In the context of IS project, the hierarchical structure are broken down into SDLC phases, task or activity, and finally the specific steps to scope down further the identified processes. When we do project planning, there are three elements need to be clearly identified. First, the activities. Second, the people or the human resources. And third, time duration. The planned activities should be assigned to the form IST members. The specific time duration to accomplish or complete the task for the planned activities must also be estimated. As the project begins, it is crucial to control and monitor the project progress. The progress of a project can be tracked, controlled and monitored by comparing the prior planning with the current and actual ongoing activities with its percentage of achievements.